Well, I spent three or four hours yesterday making a video, and what I was doing is I was upgrading this T1 Ranger to walk snail, and I figured I would go ahead and do a video about installing the new uh, firmware version, the beta version recently out as part of that, and also work on a fonts problem for a viewer who sent in a question. Now, the fonts problem completely went over my head because when I got to that part after upgrading both this transmitter and the receiver to the current version, I couldn't get the fonts to work. They were grayed out. Well, there's a good reason for that. There's been a major change, and I'm going to tell everybody about it because I missed it. My viewer missed it. I bet there's other people who missed it. It's a very simple fix, but I didn't see it. And here's the fix. Uh, buried in the release notes of 34.40.51 firmware, way down here, this line right here, OSD custom font files now reside on SD card within user font directory. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to scrape through that and copy it. And then we're going to come out here to my drive. This is for walk snail. And we'll just drop that right there. User font. Now then, probably shouldn't have closed that other <laughs> uh, window. Actually... I'm, I'm just going to take these over to prove that it works. I don't know if I will be using these fonts. These sort of refer to sneaky or if I'll be using others. But I'm just going to go ahead and take all of them and the any file. It has to be there and paste them into that subdirectory. Font update any has to be there. These are the fonts that walk snail supplied this time they're not off the sneaky site I'll, I'll compare them to that and see which ones i want to use i think they're the same but it's hard to tell let's go over and look now and see if that solves our problem okay let's look now with that sd card back in my receiver we'll go over to settings display yeah how about that font update is now ungrade and I don't see that we have those listed and custom fonts are below so let's go ahead and apply this by doing font update for kicks and grins and look at that now that the font update is done we have custom font here and actually we have several of them and i'll play with those later to see which ones i want to use but i think this puts this to bed for me and my viewer and no doubt lots of people who didn't quite catch that once and it's buried down in the documentation for the new firmware like I did. I skipped right over it until today. Like I say, I did a three or four hour video yesterday. I was showing how to upgrade to that beta firmware while I was working on the uh, T1 Ranger walk snail upgrade. And got it all done, got to that part, and my fonts was grayed out just like everybody else's. All right, guys, that's one video out of the way for today. Thank you.